Hey, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to talk sidewalls. Aluminum, fiberglass, which is better? Let's find out. So what is the difference? Which one's better? Well, I'm going to go through them today for you. Just a quick spoiler alert. Both of them are good options. It just depends on what you're looking for. As a quick note, when I'm talking about fiberglass walls, I'm talking about laminated fiberglass, not hung fiberglass. Hung fiberglass is built uh, like a traditional travel trailer, only instead of aluminum, you have a fiberglass sheet, so it still uses bad insulation. What I'm referring to is ones that are laminated, either pinch rolled or vacuum bond. I like to use a little acronym I just made up, PAIR. Let's start with P. P stands for price. So one of the biggest advantages of having aluminum siding is the fact that it's just less expensive. If you're looking for uh, an inexpensive option, something that's a little bit easier on the budget, aluminum is definitely going to take the cake here. Uh, why? Well, there's a couple main factors, two to be uh, specific. The first one is going to be the fact that when you look at fiberglass walls, they have to invest in the machinery to be able to laminate it, assuming it's laminated and not hung fiberglass, but that's a story for another time. So you have two different types of laminated walls. Either it's going to be pinch rolled or it's going to be vacuum bond laminated. Both of them are very expensive pieces of machinery. The other part of it is the structure inside is aluminum rather than wood. While that certainly has its advantages when it comes to strength, the other big piece of that is the fact that it is more labor intensive to weld aluminum than it is to screw or nail together a few pieces of wood. So therefore, fiberglass walls are just going to be more expensive. The next one in our acronym is A, and that is for aesthetics. When we look at aesthetics, I don't know about you, but for me personally, I think fiberglass walls just look a heck of a lot nicer. Uh, on top of that, they're easy to clean because you have a flat surface. So yeah, for aesthetics, most people agree fiberglass walls just look better. The I is going to be for insulation. Now, I'm gonna just completely avoid our values because it's just a whole nother topic and honestly, it often ends in an argument I just don't wanna have. Uh, but that aside, when we look at the insulation in a fiberglass wall, you have foam, which is going to be a pretty good insulator all the way through. Now, yes, there is some thermal bridging because you have to route out a decent amount of the foam in order to put in the aluminum tubing and the heat's going to transfer through the aluminum much easier than it will the foam. But that heat loss pales in comparison to what you will have in your fiberglass bat insulation in your aluminum wall. Why? Well, there's something that's uh, commonly called shakedown, where essentially your fiberglass insulation just starts to fall over time. Remember, if it's a house, your house isn't moving, it's stationary. Your fiberglass walls aren't shaking a whole bunch. In an RV, they are. So eventually that fiberglass is gonna start moving down. Even if they glue it to the wall, you're still going to have spots that are going to have less insulation than others. So you'll have hot spots and cold spots. The other big part of that is fiberglass insulation absorbs moisture, folks. There's just no way around it. So over time, it will start to get wet and therefore it will become less effective. Also, if you've ever walked into a used RV that's a little bit older and you smell mold, but there's no signs of water damage, a lot of times that's because that insulation has mold growing in it, which again is something that's not always pleasant. And lastly, we have R, which is for repairability. So this one definitely is going to tip the scales in the favor of aluminum walls. Fiberglass walls are great. Again, they're super strong, but they're not very easy to repair. If you get any water damage in them and it starts to delaminate, well, then you actually have to cut that section out of the wall and patch it and hope that you have someone that's really good at body work so that it appears to be seamless. Uh, if it's any more intrusive than that, if it's a lot of water damage or you have to get in and try to find some kind of electrical wire that's in the walls, it can be very problematic. So. If you do have any damage, whether it's physical damage or water damage in a fiberglass wall, it is very expensive to fix that. With aluminum, well, you simply take off some of the Mesa panels starting from the bottom, work your way up to get to the panel you have to remove or to get to the insulation you have to take out. And it's just not nearly as labor intensive. Therefore, it has better repairability. So although fiberglass walls may be more difficult to repair, they do have some more advanced materials that are available, such as Asdel composite instead of Luon. You see, not only is Asdel lighter weight and it won't off gas, but also it won't absorb moisture, which means even if you do get water into the sidewall, it's not going to delaminate. So again, folks, it's not that one is necessarily 
better than the other, right? They both have their advantages and disadvantages. Your aluminum is less expensive to begin with. It's less expensive to repair. Your fiberglass looks nicer and will give you some better insulation. So it all depends on what's right for you. I, I know you probably came to this video hoping that there would be one clear winner, but folks, that's just the way the RV world is. If there was one that was just always better, that's all anyone would use. There's a reason there's both. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Until next time, we'll see you.